mommy making Trini food part two. All right, guys, we're going on with our Trini Chinese food series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I make my Trini Chinese fried rice. So I'm just going to prep all of these ingredients. So I just cut it on a bias. <clears throat> and then I'm going to cut it into little strips. And then once I do that, then I'm going to leave it in these little strips for the noodles. But for the rice, I'm just gonna cut it in the strips and then dice them. When it comes to broccoli, do not throw away the stems. Just peel it and you can go ahead and use it in your veggies. It kind of gives the texture um, like Christophine. That's what we call, what do they call it here? I have no idea what they call it here. For the rice, I have onion, carrots, bell pepper, garlic, ginger, green onions. And I cut the ginger into big pieces because I don't like to bite down into a chunk of ginger. This way you get the ginger flavor and it's easy to see these and just pull them out. And for the veggies, I have broccoli. These are bok choy stems, onion, carrots, broccoli stems, bell pepper, and the leaf of the bok choy. So I have my rice all cooked and ready to go. So what I'm going to do with this rice is put my soy sauce in here so I can control the color. Do a little bit again. And then we're going in with some sesame oil. And normally you would add some Chinese fried rice seasoning, but I don't have any, so I'm using the complete seasoning again. And remember, the soy sauce is salty, the complete seasoning is salty, so be very careful. If you have a wok, go ahead and use that. We're gonna add a little bit of oil. Going in with our onions, four slivers of ginger, some garlic goes in. This is just some pepper salt. Add the carrots in. Add in your bell pepper. Give that a toss for about 30 seconds. Go ahead and add your rice. Give that a good mix. Add in your green onions. The veggies are still nice and crunchy. So I'm going to empty this rice and maybe rinse the pan out and then start cooking my 